welcome members of the conscious and I'm happy to introduce auto optimize for on page. It's our newest feature. It'll make everything so much easier for you. It'll help you rank and optimize your content with um, no effort, essentially little to no effort. I'm going to show you all about it. And I'm actually going to show you the result before we're going to be taking some content that needs some optimizing. It needs to be, uh, have some words that are missing for the article and we're going to transform it into completely green, 100% score our uh, content with, with no effort, essentially just clicking a button. So um, hope you're excited, let's dive into it. And I have an example here where we're just gonna use this uh, dating tips for shy people as an example. And I have a URL that, that is not ranking super well or is ranking decently. In fact, let me show you, just let's, say, let's just start from the beginning. If I go to Google, if I go to Google, whoops, Google, and I would type uh, dating tips for shy people. We're taking a page kind of like down in the middle or so, and I'm taking this page. So let's say this page is your, your website. I don't own eHarmony, but let's say I did, and this was my page and I wanted this page to rank better. Right now it's number six or seven or so, and it, it's an article, but historically what you would have to do is you would have to figure out which words are missing from the article, how you could improve it, you know, what are the missing entities and just start adding them by either editing some of the text, either adding a sentence, maybe adding to a sentence. There's a whole bunch of ways to add it, but either way, any approach that you take, it is long and tedious. Optimizing content as a search engine optimizer or marketer, it's just the most tedious task and I don't like doing it, which is why I'm so happy that this now exists and I've been using it quite a bit. So. Let me show you, actually, let me show you everything. So um, I would take the URL. So this, I, I take copy paste my URL and I'm gonna do it from scratch here. Let's just go with here. And I, I'm gonna type in dating tips for shy people. I'm actually gonna put that dash because I just did a scan. So I want it to be a fresh scan. And then you paste in your URL here and you click submit and fetch. So it's just gonna go now. It's gonna look at all the ranking results. It is going to use a whole bunch of techniques to determine your relevance score and um, also the recommended words and the highly related words that you need to add and a whole bunch of other stuff. But let's just start beginning. Um, your relevance score is how relevant is your page compared to the competition? You can see what well, we definitely want to pass Zoosk, which is, has a more, uh, a high, you know, higher related page. Now the, um, there are other factors that go into rankings, which is why this is not like perfectly linear, um, such as domain authority, backlinks pointing to the page. Uh, site speed, user experience. There's a whole bunch of stuff that goes into ranking a page, um, but all things being equal, if you're all in the same domain, the page with the highest relevance tends to rank the better. So how do you increase relevance? How do we get our bar higher up than the Zeusks? Well, that's really easy. What we do is we add the recommended words, or if you're in SEO, the recommended entities or the related entities. What those are, these are words that will convey to Google that your page is about the topic. So if we're talking about dating tips for shy people, the things that we're gonna wanna mention is gonna be uh, ideas, friends, uh, life, uh, let's see, reasons, attention, eye contact. These are words that we're not using on the con uh, within the content that would really help us. So things like conversation is definitely something you would expect to find on a page, questions, something, shyness. And here we even have the highly related words, which is gonna be advice, online, girls, guys, flirting, matches, partners, soulmate, uh, friends, singles. These are all words that should probably be on the page or that would help us if they were on the page and that are missing. Now, like as I mentioned, the old approach to optimizing your pages, you just go through content and you start adding these words uh, one by one, like adding girls, adding guys, flirting and so forth. And it just takes time. So we're gonna be doing it on autopilot. So which is off to auto optimize. So what you do is I, I did this quickly. Let me just go back. You click send to editor. So you're gonna send the content to the editor. And this is our content editor. Um, I like to remove if there's any, like this is kind of like the title. So here we have our article. So dating tips for shy people. And I'm gonna go through, I'm actually gonna remove the bottom part that says about the author. There you go. And now we've, we've conserved and we have our article. And if I go back, do we have it? Do I still have the, uh, the page? There you go. So if I have the page, this is essentially what we have. We have the dating tips for shy people. And we have this whole block of text here and we're not taking anything of the sidebar or the foot or anything like that. We just have our text. So what do we do now? Well, previously you start have to start writing. And as you start writing, you get your quick score, your relevance score that would start to go up. Now on normal mode, we have 77 and on max mode, we have 55. So as you can imagine, uh, we wanna get this higher. Like the normal score is fine. 
but we could also do max. I'll just leave it on normal for now. But um, you want to get the scores as high as possible. 100 would be good on normal mode. And anything above like 80 or 90 on max mode is great. And the way you would do it is you kind of come here. And now I'm going to introduce auto optimize. It's a new button that you can just click here and you click on auto optimize. And as soon as you do that, you get yourself uh, all the words that are missing now have a, a way of being checked. So we can click here, click here, and I'm going to start checking the more words that I want to add to the content. So here we have a min it's a minimum for maximum 15 at a time. And of course, what's expected is you're going to do multiple rounds of this. So um, I'm going to click friends activity. And what I'm going to start doing is I'm literally just going to start clicking on all the words that I want to add. Now there might be words that you say, yeah, I don't necessarily want to add that word. That's perfectly fine. And you could also even add custom words. So here I've actually clicked on 15 words, which is the first, you know, you could only do 15 at a time. And now you click on start optimizing. I was going to say, okay, cool. It's ready to optimize and click confirm. And now it is, is going. So <laughs> now what is it, what it's doing is it's actually reading every single piece of your content, like every single line. It's understanding the content. It's going through and understanding not only the, where it could enter or add one of these words, but it's looking at the context so it makes sense. And if it doesn't have a place to where, you know, a contextual place where it would make sense, what it's going to do is it's going to add a sentence that will fit into it. So the entire objective, the entire uh, process is all about um, it making sense within your content as if a real human would go in and start editing it. So that's really the difference. And it does this, it'll do it for the first word. It'll go through your entire content, figure out the best place to put it, and then it'll add it in an in a, in a intuitive way. Then it'll do the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. And since we have added 15 words, it takes, it takes three minutes. So that is the major downfall of this uh, technique is it takes three minutes. And in the meantime, if ever you want, you could click on start a new project. You can kind of work somewhere else in uh, on page. If you kind of want to go and load a report and you say, okay, cool. Uh, you harm me review here. I could go and kind of compare and you could go and, you know, do anything you want. And it's going to be running in the background. Now, because it takes three minutes, that is the major downside. There is a small little subtle ding that will happen when it, it is complete. So what I typically do, and I've been using this a lot because it's become my, my favorite feature and most annoying because it takes three minutes, <laughs> but it's also been my favorite feature where I just come in and I just, I start using it. I'm going to, uh, I start and I leave, let it run. And I have an, another tab and then when it says ding, I kind of go back and I will add the next round of words and so forth. The only other thing I want to mention about this feature is that it will try to add the 15 words, but it won't always add all the 15 words. Sometimes it'll add a word and it'll be a slight variation. And sometimes it won't add one or two words. And then you have to just kind of tell it to go and go and do it again. Right? So add the words that haven't been added. So in my experience, you've had to do two, three, four runs of this. So um, two, three runs to get all the words. And what I typically do is I start with the uh, recommended words, then I'll do the high related words. And that's how you end up with a fully optimized page. There you go. So now we have our first run. So now I have all, um, I have our first run right here and you can see a lot of it has gone green. We were at 70 something and now we're at 92 and I just keep on going. So go auto optimize and I can start adding words, reason, girl, and all of that, Sign says this. But here's the, Here's the super cool part is you could start adding custom words like this. It's nice to add this and you could click whatever you want, but you could also add custom words. Let me show you how crazy this is. And in, in fact, um, let me, I'll, I'll uncheck these. We'll just, we'll, we'll get the custom words. Um, I'll add my name. So Eric Lantris, I'm going to add my name. I'm going to add, I have another, I had like weird suggestions that I tried and it was funny. Um, a party animal. There we go. Okay, cool. So I'm going to add party animal, party animal. So dating tips for shy people. And I was like, yeah, let's throw in party animal. Then I was like, let me add a uh, banana suit, banana suit. Cause I'm trying to throw it off. Right. So this, this is what I want to show you that we're, we're, it's really good. That's, that's <laughs> essentially what I want to show you and love potion. All right, cool. Let's put love potion, love potion. There you go. Let's add love potion. So Now I've added Eric Lantris party animal, banana suit, love potion. I hopefully you could see that it makes sense, but it doesn't really make sense. It's, it's kind of, you know, it's a little out there and I'm going to add a few more to do mine as well as we're doing this. There you go. Um, 
Yeah, cool. So now I'm gonna click start optimizing. Actually, yeah, no, okay, cool. I'm gonna add a whole bunch. I'm adding a whole bunch because I want it. There you go, cool. We're gonna do it all 15. And I've loaded it up, but I've also have my weird um, words at the top and let's go start optimizing. And it's gonna go optimize and it's just gonna go. So um, we're gonna come back and through the magic of editing, I'm just gonna skip over to the three minute mark and you're gonna get the seed of results. All right, so now we're back. And those custom words I added, my name, so Eric Lantris, um, it actually used him. So Eric Lantris and made up a self-proclaimed party animal, <laughs> actually finds shy individuals, sometimes introverts, um, as the most interesting and dynamic people and so forth. And wow, so I wonder if it used banana suit. Let me go see banana suit. There you go. <laughs> like um, on a first date, where's something you can hack a conversation or two, like a banana suit or love potion pendant. <laughs> All right, so um, maybe that wouldn't be the ideal for a first date, like wearing a banana suit, but it did use the weird words that I gave it in order to try kind of throw it off. So I tried to throw it off. I tried to kind of screw it up and it still managed to implement those weird words um, where it, it, saw, it, it thought it might work. And as you can see, we're at a hundred percent score and we're not even done adding the words. So just for the sake of, of fun, I'm going to add the last remaining words. I'm just going to go anyone and guys. And by the way, anyone kind of came uh, back to red, to red because it might've been added. It might've not been added. I'm just keep, keep on going. And I'm gonna start adding the highly related words here. And now this is essentially where we go. And through the power of editing, I'm going to go and I will return in just as soon as it's done. All right, so now I finished adding those words. And we, as you can see, we started with a wall of uh, of red and now we are essentially 100% completely green. Uh, there's a few words, I guess we could, we could add even more, we keep on going. You can keep on going as much as you want and just add all the words that you want. Um, essentially, let me, let me go back and forth, right? So let me start it. We started over here, dating tip. This is how it looked before at the beginning. And without typing or adding a single word, we ended up with um, a wall of green. And especially, I, I threw it off. We could have some of these uh, that done already if I wasn't playing around and just giving it random words. And it's as easy as just clicking auto-optimize, add the words that you want, and you're good to go. As I mentioned, the only downside is it takes three minutes, but that's why as soon as it's running that you could start doing anything. So if you're not using OnPage right now, um, I highly recommend it. This, these are kind of like the best prices. You go to account. Um, or you sign up, <laughs> actually, yeah, you go sign up, you choose any plan. The uh, auto writer starts in the SEO standard or above. So the SEO standard is the advanced, um, a create publisher or ultimate 1000. Um, and if you are not signed up, highly recommend it. Jump on it right now. Let me just show you how easy it is. Go to onpage.ai. You're going to go sign up. You're going to put in your email address. Once you activate your account, you're going to go to a place that looks like this and you're gonna click on activate your plan right here, and it's gonna bring you so to uh, choosing a plan. To do, create 100 is one of our most popular plan because you can create a whole bunch of stealth articles, use the AI re rewriter, and you could use and optimize all your pages on autopilot. Um, if you're just starting out, a lot, a lot of people are also taking the standard or the advanced, and you could upgrade or downgrade at any time. Flexibility is there for you. So I encourage you, check out onpage.ai, and if you're already a member, this is, going to be activated as you see this video. Um, jump on it, start using it, give me some feedback. I think you're gonna have a lot of fun using the content editor. You're gonna be able to optimize everything uh, left and right. So um, that's it. If you have any questions, comments, leave them down below um, or just email us at team at on dash page.ai. Happy to hear from you and I look forward to seeing you inside uh, on page. All right, take care guys.